Shilling is better than Goodwill for buying stuff to sell on Poshmark. And I know that sounds silly that I'm buying stuff to sell, but when you see how much shit I got for $39.50, you're going to be astounded. A pair of Anne Klein leather loafers, which retail for between $45 and $79 brand new. A pair of Kenneth Cole cork wedges. I'm not sure how much these retail for, but oh, actually the box is right here. Let's see. No, no price tag. But I can tell you they're pricey, like $70 or $80. Third pair of shoes, Keen. Aren't these adorable? They're like red plaid. They look brand new, like they've never been worn. I bought a, a pair of these for $15 at Marty and Liz, which is a, like a discontinuation store. And then I looked on Poshmark and they were retailing used $55 on Poshmark. So I could probably get a lot more for these since they're adorable and cute. Um, random stuff that's not to sell on Poshmark. Just a little uh, hummingbird notepad for 10 cents. Um, I got two bowls. <laughs> my son complains that we don't have any good cereal bowls. This is good, right? It's big as my head. Um, and I got two soap dishes random. We went to an estate sale, which is really sad. A lady's mother just died and they had to have everything out of the house by Friday. So it was kind of sad, but, um, at the same time, I'm, I'm excited. So I got two soap dishes, one I already put away. Um, this bag, how cool is this bag? She said her mom got it in Arizona, I think. It looks like it's made kind of out of like an old horse blanket. Leather straps, $2. Um, and I'm keeping this for me because I love it so much. These, they are wool rich leather socks and we pulled them out. She had two sets of these. The other set was, um, were used, so it's kind of sad. She probably bought these to replace those ones and were never able to use them, but see, they have like the little leather bottoms. These, these, um, I couldn't find any of the exact kind on the internet, but this brand, their other slippers were between 40 and $70, so I mean, I could sell these for probably 30 bucks, and I got them for... It was supposed to be two dollars a piece but um when we got up to like check out i only had fifteen dollars and i said how about fifteen for everything and she said yes so i got um look at this half of this stuff for fifteen dollars she had a bunch of twine and i got like six different a bunch of these Tissue paper, I mean, all brand new that had never been opened for 25 cents each, or I guess everything was $15. I got two rolls, one roll of um, craft brown paper, one roll of white. So those two things, the, ra the wrapping paper, the bowls, the bag, all of the string, tissue paper, the basket, the socks, and the keen shoes, all of that for $15 when I can make probably $30 just in the one pair of shoes. Um, these I got from the other sale. Oh, this Kate Spade money clip. Um, she was asking $5. It says nest egg on it. It's silver. It's like the Lennox brand. And it retails for $20, which I had James look up while we were there. But he didn't want to be like, Julie, it's only $20. Because usually Kate Spade stuff is really expensive. Whenever you find Kate Spade, buy it. Um, see, it says nest egg. It's like a little money clip. And I thought, well, that might be fun to sell. Um, okay, so next garage sale, I only, I hit three garage sales. I know, well, we hit more than that, four, but I only bought at three. Elizabeth Arden, it feels like leather, but I don't think it is leather. Um, makeup bag, which I'm sure these are probably, no, it's leather. This is probably one of those free ones you get with makeup, but this color, um, pink or corals are really hot right now. I got this for me, which I don't know if I like those bright colors, but it's for a Fitbit HR. Um, and this is the authentic, or no. Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure it's for a Fitbit, new um, strap for a Fitbit. Okay, and now this one I'm super excited about. I went to this yard sale and um 
they buy stuff from stores that are going out of business or it's like a some sort of warehouse that sells everything and I had three pairs of jeans and like two shirts in my hand and the guy goes I'll give everything I'll give you um, everything hanging on that rack that I was looking through and everything in your hand for ten dollars and I was like what sold so literally all of these clothes right here except for the three shirts on the bottom I got for ten dollars they're all brand new still with the tags on them like this is a cute little sundress it's the Mar or exhilaration brand from Target uh, this is ugly and I think it's used but it's a big girls thing so it might sell you never know it's just like a jacket um, cute little girl skirt or dress look at it's got like this sheer lace another cute little girls dress see it's all you can still it smells like a department store you know that like plasticky smell this I think I'm keeping for me cold shoulder which is what these are called with the shoulder pokes out that's my size I might keep that I mean cute shirt this is not so cute but it's a little girl's dress you never know somebody might like that this I thought was adorable exhilaration dress still has the tags on it all of this stuff still has the tags on it these are Jennifer Lopez I didn't even know she had her own brand I don't know how much those are but anything that's a skinny usually sells pretty good I've never heard of this brand art class I think it might actually be Dollar General's but I'm not sure look that this is um Ava and Viv which is Target's big girl line it's cute I like the colors but it's too big for me it's not my color um this shirt I actually bought to replace one I have the same exact color mine got a stain on it and it's my size 50 cents she gave it to me well she was gonna give it to me 50 cents until they gave me everything for ten dollars um or oh wait no so she did three things were 50 cents each and everything else was ten dollars cute little dress that's from Dollar General this um, adorable <laughs> my husband's sighing over there exhilaration I think it's is it no it's just a dress but this one I was looking at this one is like the pantsuit kind of things like a summer pantsuit it's cute exhilaration from Target still has the brand this one the brand is Julia, which is funny. Still has the tags. None of them say the price because these tags are from like the department place that they bought them from, which I don't know where it's some sort of warehouse. And this is one of those like sequins where you can like write in the words because the sequins changed like a mermaid style. It's really heavy. Dude. Little girls, high low skirt, exhilaration target. This one is little like Hawaiian print. Um, romper which rompers hopefully are still in they were in last year <laughs> last summer we went to a country music festival and every girl there was wearing a romper these are still have the tags they're gap 1969 which you know retail for like 79 dollars brand new these are mossimo brand new which these i sold some of jonah's old mossimo jeans and i think i sold them for eight 4L. That's weird. What does that mean? 4L. These are. I don't. I didn't think those were kid sizes, but oh, these diesel. These are the jeans I had in my hand. Somebody ripped off the price tag, but diesel is an expensive brand. Ooh, and they're flare bell bombs. Cute. Okay, so that. Oh, and then this little cute little girl's dress. All of those clothes, twelve dollars. Crazy, right? And the um, fit the Fitbit um, bracelet. And so then these I got at another garage sale. Hangers everywhere. So this and then this is not stained. My water leaked out of my Yeti cup because it wasn't in the cup holder. This is a um, Polo Ralph Lauren long sleeve denim, which. Brand new is $89, so I could probably get like 50 bucks for it. This, I'm quite telling you, people pay $50 for a used Ralph Lauren shirt. Same thing, Ralph Lauren, long sleeve, um, seersucker stripe 
sort of pattern. This one I got for a dollar, and I'll, you know, make like 40 bucks. This one I got for $3, this is a more like high-end garage sale. And then I got this, it's kind of debating for me, but it looks a little big. It's cute, it's navy blue. This is White House Black Market, which I don't even know how much it retails for, but you can just tell it looks brand new. Anything from White House Black Market is expensive. I got this for $3, so I can probably retail that for like 20 or 30. This I'm definitely gonna have to steam. It's just a button up shirt. And I didn't know, I had no idea the retail price of this, but I saw the brand is that Kavu brand and I know the Kavu purses are really trendy right now. I looked it up, $55 brand new. And it looks new, so I mean I could probably make 25 or 30 on it. So, all of that stuff, I mean, obviously it's not, not all going to sell super quick. Oh, and I know I already showed you guys that, but all of that stuff, plus the other soap dish for $29.50. It's a good deal, y'all. I'm excited. Um, the majority of this stuff will probably sell quick because the summer stuff and the Ralph Lauren stuff will sell. I'm excited about that bag. How cute is this bag? This might be my new yoga bag because it's so long. I could put like the yoga, um, oh, see, it's really hard to find straps that are long, but I could put my, um, yoga mat up tall instead of lengthwise like my other bag, which my other bag is ripping. So I just want to show you guys my garage sale haul. Um, I only hit goodwill on the 50% off day because to me that's the only time it makes sense to go to goodwill and spend money even if I'm um looking for me which I don't I haven't done normally I go looking for Poshmark and then I end up finding stuff for me but right now as it is I have too many clothes and I have too much Poshmark so I really shouldn't have gone today but James was sweet and he let me um get a bunch of stuff to try to sell for Poshmark so this is the way to do it, y'all. Garage sales are way better than um, the Goodwill 50% off. Because, like, so Goodwill, um, they price almost all of their shoes $7.99. Sometimes a little bit more if they're, like, leather shoes. So, you know, half off. These would have been $4, and today I spent 2 So, I only get shoes if they're leather in absolutely great condition, look brand new. Like there's, unless like there's something like my Uggs, like, okay, get this. They're in my kitchen. I'm not going to get them. I have a pair of Uggs that are over 10 years old, maybe eight or nine. Pretty sure they're 10 years old. I think they're gross. They have stains on the outside. They're faded. And I get, I've gotten like five likes and all kinds of comments. Like y'all, people, people can't afford a pair of three hundred dollar UGGs. And so, you know, what, for whatever reason, that lady said she was looking for a pair of worn in UGGs and she was going to buy them later on this weekend. But um, I have sold. I just dropped off three things at the post office this morning. Forgot. So I forgot this one. And then I have sold, I want to say two more things today. So this is a great little way to, for me to A, have fun and B, make money. So I'm going to keep um, posting Poshmark tips and tips on how to make clothes look nice. If you did find one that has a stain or um, maybe it has a little rip or something in it, you can fix it yourself. And um, you know how like... So these I think were originally from Goodwill because Goodwill and sometimes Marty Liz, they will write the number on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. See, it's like, um, like a silver Sharpie. Nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol will take that off. They write the price of how much these originally retail for, which says 59, which when I was looking, it said 49 to 79, like depending on if they were on sale or not. And like these look legit brand new and they look comfortable too but loafers are classic they'll always be in style I think um but there you go my goodwill haul for $39 and like two of the shirts I can sell for $40 each so pretty good deal hope you guys learned a lot